So here's a problem. We're going to use a technique here called logarithmic differentiation. So fancy way of saying apply ln to both sides and hope for the best. Okay, so I'll do that. So I get ln of the left hand side is equal to ln of the right hand side. And then we have the cos x coming down, which is a very nice rule of logs. You may recall it's something like this. If you have ln a to the power of b, then that b can make its way in front. Okay, now we're in a position where we can do a derivative. Okay, I should underline, or I should say, that at the beginning, I got this x to the power of cos x, which is not something we've encountered thus far. Okay, you have a variable in the base, and you have a variable in the exponent. We do not yet have a rule for how to deal with that. So that's why we're doing this ln thingy. Okay, so here I can do a derivative of both sides. Okay, on the left I get um, y prime over y. And on the right I have a product rule. So I get uh, minus sine x, which is the derivative of cos x, times ln x, plus cos x times the derivative of ln x, like so. So y prime is going to be y times, moving this y up there, y times this whole thing, which I'm going to rearrange in a way that I find visually pleasing. Sine x dot ln x. And we have a y in our answer, so we should try to put that in terms of x. How can we do that? Well, I'll go back upstairs and see that y is x cos x. y is x cos x. y is x cos x. So y prime is x to the power of cos x times all this bracket. And there we go. Okay, let's have a little sneak peek at the answer, which I have concealed up here. Oh, there it is. And uh, that is indeed what I get. Didn't actually simplify my answer here, but whatever. Okay, any questions? Haha. <laughs> Exercise. Give this a try. Here's my original function. And here is the derivative. I want you to connect the dots here. So pause, copy, try. I hope you're trying. There is value in trying, even if you don't succeed. Okay. So here we get ln of y is ln of x sine x. And the sine x comes down, as before. Derivative of both sides gives me a product rule on the right, and this memorized thing on the left. Why don't we underline that? Ln of y is y prime over y. This happens so much that it is worth memorizing if you haven't done so already. Where was I? Product rule, right here. Solve for y prime. y prime is going to be y times cos x ln x.
plus sine x over x. Oh, I can do a better x than that. And finally, my y, which was this thing. There's my y up here. Is x to the power of sine x. What's with me in x's today? And an x, a proper x, a proper x. There we go. Cos x, ln x, plus sine x over x. And like a good student, I double check my answer and I am pleased.